We know what's in your head, Donald. Now that Chris Christie has qualified, should you show up to the debate? Because if you do, your opponents will bring up the impeachments, the indictments. Bring up how you lost to Joe Biden, lost the House, lost the Senate. They will remind everyone you didn't build that big, beautiful wall and not one peso from Mexico. That instead of balancing the budget, you increased it by six trillion. That you never repealed Obamacare. Because that's what they'll say if you show up, especially that guy Christie. But if you don't go, you'll be called a coward, a chicken, reduced to throwing spitballs from the sidelines. So, Donald, you need to decide. Are you a chicken or just a loser? Tell it like it is, PAC is responsible for the content of this advertising. This is the perfect example of the sort of ad that should be below us politically. And yet, I just want more of it. I just, it's the only thing that I think has any chance whatsoever of getting through to Donald Trump or to his supporters. It's run by a super PAC that's supporting Chris Christie, you won't be surprised. Chris Christie himself is not doing this, but all of the claims that they're making, the attacks that they're saying are things that Chris Christie himself has said recently. And he was asked about that ad on State of the Union on CNN. And he said, well, it's the first time I've seen it, but I think it's probably a pretty good question. And he should show up at the debates and defend his record. The Republican Party voters who are deciding who our nominee should be, should be able to make that decision by comparing all the candidates who qualify for the debate stage right next to each other, challenging each other's records, discussing each other's plans for the future of America and how they're gonna beat Joe Biden. He has apparently qualified Chris Christie. So the question is, will Trump show up? He did an interview this weekend where he strongly implied that he would not, in which case he would be coward. I guess if he has to choose, it's coward, Michael. Does this sort of strategy have any chance of working? Someone is finally attacking him at least. Yeah, I mean, typically like the, the incumbent president, which he isn't, would be forced into a debate. But in a primary, that he doesn't have to acknowledge the primary. Uh, Debates have been okay for him. He's watched Christie kill other people in debates, namely Marco Rubio in New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and so I, I think that there are pluses and minuses to it, but it's better for him. You know, if I were advising him, I would say let these other people just have it have at you from afar and and look silly because they'll all be doing that or having at each other. I understand why he wants to stay above the fray, but he is he really will be painted that way. And he hates like Christie knows the words that really rile Donald Trump up, coward and loser are among them and, and they go back a long way. So pre presidency, pre politics, those are words he didn't like. Yeah, I will say, you know, I covered Chris Christie's first town hall with CNN. And I think he, I think he's done what should be a good job of picking away at Donald Trump on policy, really focusing more on the policy than the personal stuff. And yet, he's still at 2.3%. Trump's at 53.7. It doesn't really seem to have helped him. It seems like deeply unjust that this hasn't worked at all. Right. Um, but anyway, it well, is, it is a struggle. A little bit too. I mean, he's not the perfect messenger for these things. He is in sort of boisterousness and bravado, but he's not, you know, for his in hypocrisy and, and spineness. Spineness, his, his level of spine. Yes. I agree. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.